mobile phone has long ceased to be just a phone. The new models on display here at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona all double up as web browsers, MP3 players, or even fitness companions, like this Puma phone. When you take the next step and take the phone out of these small mobile computers, you end up with data devices, such as Amazon's Kindle or Apple's iPad. For mobile operators, every such gadget represents a potential source of revenue. Each SIM card can generate some traffic. Each SIM card can generate some revenue. The question is, can you get a balance between the cost of each SIM card versus the revenue they generate? The larger size, which makes the iPad and Kindle attractive for reading and browsing the web, may also limit their appeal. Well, that is the billion-dollar question, is, is will, uh, will the dominant computing, mobile computing platform be in the pocket or is it in the bag? I would have to say that it's going to be in the pocket. Telecoms operators are facing a challenge. Their networks are already showing the strain from high data usage, particularly in big cities. More data traffic means higher costs, but consumers aren't necessarily willing to pay much more for it. Clearly, when you have a, a resource like data consumption, uh, which has no incremental cost to the consumer, and where you have devices like smartphones, like the iPad, that, in, that open the possibility of more and more services, each of which consumes more and more data, then clearly over the long term you have the prospect of an unending increase in data consumption, but no increase in revenues to the operators. That's clearly not sustainable. This may even trigger the next round of consolidation, with mergers creating a large customer base that generates enough revenue to pay for the necessary investment. Nicholas Mika, Reuters. Mm -hmm.